Alright. Oh, share the screen with me. Oh, shit, that's right, I forgot to do that. Yeah, you did. There we go. Alright, so we're chasing after some guy who uh, kidnapped a little boy. Mm. Also, we got our holy armor. That's cool. It looks so cool. Oh, wait. There we go. So, after your last time playing, what are your thoughts so far on Onimusha Warlords? It's a really good game. I agree. Oh, oh this motherfucker. This is an awesome looking fight, though. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, I forgot yeah. how to play! Yeah! There we go. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Let me come to the hole of pain. Shit, hold on, em emulators lagging like fuck. Oh, oh trying to counter him. Yeah. Not going so hot. Climb back down the ladder. Ow. Ow. Nice. I like the setting for it. That's a really fucking cool fight. Yeah, the really cool thing about it is that, like, it's very, like, uh,. Simple, it's not like overly cinematic. Yeah. Oh, man, you would have died if that hit you. That's true. Fucking go check. Oh! There. Nice. <laughs> oh. This guy can take a lot of damage. Yeah, it's really interesting because I remember all the boss fights in uh, Onimusha 2 were like super, super cinematic. Yeah. So this is like kind of really refreshing. You have like this kind of classic uh, samurai movie thing going on here. Yeah, rooftop battle. One on one. Nailed him with that magic attack. Job. It's really there's a lot of like uh, uh, tone differences between Onimusha One and Onimusha Two. Yeah, definitely. I feel like some serious like. Uh... Make sure you pick up that orb. Now you get your last weapon, my favorite weapon. The wind sword. Yep. Is always my oh yeah, this thing. 
Yeah, if it had something like that in uh, Onimusha 2 as well. My favorite part of Onimusha 3 is the opening cinematic. He uses all three of the first game's weapons. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. Nice callback, too. Yeah, I think I saw that uh, opening for Onimusha 3, and it looked really cool. Yeah. Upgrade your wind sword, man. You're crazy man, about the wind hard. sword. I am. I wonder how many of those we missed. <laughs> a, a ton. <laughs> like these are the some of the background stuff. Just doesn't, it doesn't like uh, stick out. Yeah, it doesn't pop. Dang. Oh wait, I meant to do the orb. Oh well. Oops. Our world. I just wish there was like a, a better way to uh, change your weapons, but early PS2. Yeah. And now it's I like well. Not a radial menus yet. Well, now in like Resident Evil Five, I hated the uh, the uh, how that menu system was done. I don't remember it. It's basically where just like Resident Evil Six, where it's just in game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess it works in the context of like multiplayer, but that just it it, it felt so weird. <laughs> Shh, little boy. <laughs> And where was she when I was fighting the giant samurai? My sister, I ran into another block puzzle. I killed ten people, Samanosuke. Ten drowned victims. You're safe now. Please. Did I tell you last time that that you kid grows to up to buy to be made a catchy? Yeah, made a catchy. That's cool. Princess Yuki. Nice fun fact. Kaede, do you know why Princess Yuki took care of this boy? Princess Yuki was born the daughter of a feudal lord, and thus raised from an arranged marriage. She has had no freedom whatsoever. Well, that's kind of a bummer. So when she meets someone else who's in need, she wants to help them. Goddamn, Semenovsky is a handsome He's man. Strong to life. Well, yeah. Semenovsky. This was kind of like back in the early days when uh, basing a uh, a video game character on an actor, like getting getting the actual face scan. That was a pretty big deal. It was a big deal. I do remember that. Mitsuhide. I have met people who speak and look different than us. I had experienced things that I never would have imagined. Yep, I went out into the plains and played a guitar. Yeah, found some black folk. There are infinite things that we do not understand. There is beauty and freedom all around us. You owe it Man, to Sam yourself. Man, going all esoteric on everybody. I know. These things and then share them with the people of this country. You must help them to understand the absurdity of fighting over such small portions of land on this tiny island. <laughs> hmm? Help! Who are you? My name is Nui. I serve Princess Hatsu. Princess Yuki is underground. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! You alright? Kaede, we have little time. I have to find Princess Yuki. You watch over these two. I will. Yeah, do that. Don't forget Typical all the- Typical male chauvinist pig character. Don't forget everything I told you. Go out into the wilds. Listen to old men play guitar. Get a giant spear. Find a fast horse. The giant Wear some crazy armor. Uh, uh. 
And remember, fighting is absurd unless it's against zombies. Then you just gotta. I give it to Semenosuke though, man. When the game series wraps up, he becomes a monk that wanders around and preaches peace. <laughs> Until the zombies show back up, then he murders the shit out of them. But, yeah, of course. You know, he's zombie racist. Zombie racist? It's fucking ninjas, man. They get me every time. I know, they're the worst. Oh shit. Like man, if only there was a camera system that wouldn't obstruct my view when I fight. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Then how are you supposed to build tension? Oh god, I like staring at the zombie's ass. Magic that motherfucker. That Holy was, shit! That was cool. That was cool. I have no clue if this is the right way. Is it a blocked door with a puzzle? Yep. It's the right way. You gotta go find another piece. When we get near the waterfall, that's where the ultimate armor is at. I do remember that, because it's behind the waterfall. Boom. That's nice. I'll try to struggle to find out where the hell I'm going. Oh. What? I didn't even think of doing that. Holy cow. Crazy. Must have been mind blowing back in the day. Probably was. Like I said, man, like this is a really good fucking game. I love the shit out of this game. Yeah, I gotta say, out of all the really early PlayStation 2 games, this is uh, by far the best. This is making me wonder how well Dark Cloud 1 holds up. Because I remember it was this and that that I was played endlessly. I tried playing Dark Cloud 1, I didn't like it. Well, I mean, there's no accounting for taste. But then again, that was recently. Let's see. It was just recently that I tried, uh, tried Dark Cloud, so I don't know. I think I have to, uh... Get underground. I can remember how to do that. I appear to be going up. <laughs> I think the door that's locked leads to the underground. I think you got to find the piece to it, if I remember correctly. Okay, I'm trying to think of where uh, where there are any other more green doors. Well, this is going. Yeah, it's going back into the, to the switches. Try to keep moving on from where you were. See if you can find anything that way. From where, uh, right after you got that last cutscene. Okay. I remember being this way. This is like the long way, but... <laughs> Seminoso <laughs> just drops to his knees. <laughs> and flashbacks. What's it like to remember lives you never lived? Die, someone little scared. I know, I was thinking I was going to do the whole damn thing over again. Let's see. Okay, I remember this. Man, 
Man, you're making me want to play this really bad. Won't lie, it's really good. I'm excited to do Onimusha 2. Uh. <laughs> That was really cool though. Yeah, I wonder how much like stuff we've missed. That we've I'm been sure able we've missed a shitload. Yeah, that we've just been able to like break. We've missed the majority of the shiny shard pieces. And that gets you all the secret stuff. The what? There's these shiny shards, like these little stones you can pick up. There's 20 of them. Oh yeah, I remember because I picked one up in that uh, one room. Yeah, there's like 20 of them, so... I'm sure we missed a shitload of those. But it's okay, I remember where the armor stuff's at, and that's the important thing. Okay, we just went in a big circle. Good job. Excellent. Maybe find out where you dropped that thing on the rope at. Yeah, that's a good idea. Can you jump down there? <laughs> No. Oh, come on, you're a magic samurai. Samurai don't jump. That's true. <laughs> Everyone knows that. And now, ever since I learned about those shiny stones, now I just want to go and click on everything. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, playing this makes me like wish that they had found some way to uh, to incorporate like how this game moves into a Resident Evil game. Because, I mean, it handles really well, you know, for as fast as he's moving. It doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel at all awkward, especially when you're, like, you know, locked onto an enemy and you're going in, like, different directions. Right. Oh shit! Oh, when you know it, I don't have any arrows. How about that? Oh, I think I wasted them all trying to save that guy. He deserves saving, damn it. I think your wind magic will hit him. I think. I know it does a tornado type thing. Hell yeah! Yeah! Wow, thanks. That's all I get for saving your life. I'll remember this. Gosh, what a cool setting. Although, like, I am kind of curious as to, like, how a, uh, medieval Resident Evil, like, would have played out. <laughs> Sir Wesker! Yes, we are of the Umbrella Clan. Umbrella Clan. <laughs> Like, would there still be a fucking secret lab in the basement of the castle? Well, then, ele high tech elevator leading down, yeah. Alien! Yes! What would they do for a self destruct sequence? They would be fighting in a giant powder keg room where the entire <laughs> army keeps all its gunpowder. And at the end of the fight, someone would knock a flame over. 
And you have to run out of them before it leads back to the cake. Or else you'll die. Fund it. Fund it, Capcom. Been hearing some pretty mixed things about Resident Evil uh, Revelations 2. People are really mad because the, apparently they lied about the PC version having couch co op. Oh, wow. Yeah. So there's no co op. Yeah, because that was always that was the worst thing about. Uh, about uh, Revelations One is that there's no uh, there's no co-op. You had yeah, like, that was weird. You had like the raid mode. The raid now I will say this: raid mode was really cool. I really liked raid mode. I heard it's even better in this one. I heard it's top notch. But yeah, apparently they're getting a lot of flack just because um, they said there would be couch co-op and there's not. They even issued an official apology. Wow. Yeah. No sell it as DLC, couch DLC. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Unfortunately. Sweet. I can't read! <laughs> Dude, I learned martial arts and I had to read. Go around the side of it, can't you? Yeah. Uh. Gosh dang it, so close. I think I ended up using the uh the wind blade the most and I need to two as well. I really like it. It's just so fast. Then I think I just finished what? like playing Chrono Cross for like the hundredth time. Alright, get off. Oh yeah, these fuckers. The lickitungs. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> this is fair. The fruit by the foot. <laughs> <laughs> really cool design though. Yeah, those, like, these guys especially look like something that would be right out of a really cool Resident Evil game. I remember, oh no. He's gonna tickle oh, your feet. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, should have thought that out. <laughs> oh god, axe to the face, I never saw it coming. <laughs> Oh, that's some more books. Got the orange book. Unleashed a large amount of evil energy. Bare complexion person with long hair. Excellent traits of purity. Yep. <laughs> if I take advantage of her, she would be worthless as a sacrifice. Wow. <laughs> Grim <Wow>. stuff. <laughs> Fucking Gilderstein. You get to take care of him in the last game. Finally. Felt pretty good too. <laughs> the dark, the aptly named dark ceremony, just happens to be the darkest ritual. <laughs> A pause animal. <laughs> Yeah, boss. Uh, I want to know the answer. <laughs> 
racking up on the books, bro. I know. I'm carrying around a small library with... And he says he can't read. He's learning, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> he was just scrolling through all that. Nobunaga, I, I will fight you with the greatest weapon of all. My mind. <laughs> I just like to imagine him flipping through all those books, just being like, man, I wish I knew what this said. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is kind of shitty at drawing. I've noticed that from his game. Can't even see these little pictures. Oh, use your magic. Perfect. Do it. Do it. Tornado time. <laughs> Tore that dude up. Oh, I left one alive. Not for long. How did you know it was me? <laughs> Good shot. Damn. I am the fucking Onimusha. You moosh those Onis, dude. Oh yeah, this place. I don't know, this whole area is really cool. This is where you can like see the this used to be a Resident Evil game creepy laboratory underneath. You'd like to run across like an umbrella symbol here soon. It's just like on a floor or something. I don't know, I'd like to s hey, oh there's a thing. How about that? Look what we did. We did something. I really do want to see them like release a um, feudal Japan Resident Evil just to, just for the hell of it. Like they did it with uh, Yakuza. Oh yeah. I remember that. Oh man, how good does the Yakuza Zero look? I can hear the deceased. Oh, I think this is how you get the ultimate sword, but I think that's New Game Plus only. I could be wrong though. We'll see. We can hear dead people now though. That's pretty ballin'. Oh! Oh man, almost right up the butt. Got a tickle tickle. Is that a door back there? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I'm digging like all these secrets. I wish that Onimusha 2 was more like the... Or like you kind of had, you know, I mean, I'm a, I'm a big fan of any kind of genre. Where it's just like, you're in a big creepy castle. Discover it. I love exploration like this, where everything's connected. I think that's what I like about Dark Souls 1 so much. Yeah. Definitely, it definitely creates a more compelling experience. Yeah, it feels like an actual area. That's why I really hated the globe-trotting aspects of like 5 and 6 for Resident Evil. Yeah. That's why I hate the globe-trotting aspects of any game, really. Oh god! Holy shit, magic! Just use your fucking magic! <laughs> <laughs> You're making an army of them! <laughs> that was like 10 of them. That was going south so fast. Oh man, not good, not good! <laughs> I I'm keep cutting, but they keep getting up! About to be some bubble trouble! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cool! You got a bell! Uh oh. Oh man, this is gonna My be my favorite so part of Clock Tower. This is gonna be so hard. Like no depth perception. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at his feet. Look at nothing else. Just his feet. And <laughs> that was like the worst trap. <laughs>
Purify the cursed. Hmm. It's crazy it is. I think all this was optional. Well, I know that rosary was optional. You said that's just to get the ultimate weapon in New Game I Plus. I think you did. Because there's a be a shaman sword in the game. Uh oh. <laughs> Go south so fast, man. Oh shit. Just like the thing, you have to burn it to kill it. At least you got a shitload of orbs. I know. Hell yeah. So should I just stick with wind? I say you go with whatever you like the most. Well, I need to I need to upgrade the ores before anything. Mm -hmm. that, and that's what unlocks doors. I think isn't it like three uh three levels? Yeah. Been playing for an hour and 32 minutes. It's hard to believe. Shit's just yeah. balling along. Okay, so it's okay for Onimusha to be under five hours, but not the order. I see how it is. <laughs> One hour and 30 Maybe minutes! Maybe use the bell here. Nah. This <laughs> is. <laughs> Why do ghosts. What to interfere with my mission? <laughs> ring, ring, ring! <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he's got the bail. Scram! <laughs> oh, I hate that fang! Oh man, look at that! That's such a Resident Evil callback. It is, look at this, this is fucking sweet. Oh shit, uh -oh. I didn't think that would happen. Oh god damn it. <laughs> Careful with your sword swings. Now why is it that like a PlayStation 2 game lets me break shit in the background? Fucking meat cleaver bros are about to tear your ass up. Yeah. Big time. Yeah, I need to get this. I need to get the fire sword out for this one. The, uh. The glaive doesn't stagger him when it hits him. Now if only I can get someplace where I can see. <laughs> Too tall. Magic those assholes. Oh damn! The effects look so cool. When they you fry someone, you see their ashes fly off. That's awesome. Yeah, that is really cool. It drives the fucking emulator nuts whenever there's fire on screen. <laughs> fire button! Fire button! I didn't see that coming. I was like, oh shit! That was really cool though. <laughs> oh! Got some fluorite. I think there's some glasses back towards the opening area of the game you can go back and find that make them like glint and shine. Well, it's probably in that, uh, in one of those boxes, remember? Because there's that, uh, oh, yeah, riddle yeah. box that I couldn't open because I didn't have any of the. I do remember that. Whoa! Ouchies. <laughs> Are 
figure out how to beat him though. If you kill me, more will rise. Oh, there's a surprising amount of secret stuff in this game. Yeah. I, l I love the panda outfit. Absolutely my favorite. Because if you hit the L1 button, he'll flip the panda head up and down. Hell yeah. But then again, Onimusha 2 was the same way. It had like those branching story paths. Yeah, that was crazy. 2 has some of the best like branching story path decision stuff like in modern games could take some lessons from. Yeah. Oh, I know what to do. Nope. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's his ghost. Oh, yeah, it lets you talk to dead bodies. You got the rosary. Apocalypse number one. Wow, this sounds familiar. <laughs> Never heard of it. Is this from the is this is this from that manga about those two naked guys who splash water on each other? Oh yeah, two best friends in the world. Mm-hmm. I love that. I wonder what happened to their friendship. <laughs> what did it we... become something more? <laughs> Boy did it. <laughs> It became something entirely different. God, I haven't checked on Berserk in like two years. I'll have to see where they're at. Yeah, I think they finally got off of uh, the boat. What? <laughs> yeah, that, the boat? that was that was the uh, that was a running joke for a while. Are we still on the boat? It's like dynamic. Yeah, it was dynamic. I remember checking back like yearly, and they were still on the boat. I'm glad they're off the boat. So that means they're in the Elflands now. That's cool. Assuming things went right, which they never, ever do. I know there's something I do with this, damn it. And I'm gonna figure out what it is. I think it's just a cool green flame, honestly. <laughs> you may be right. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. Let's see if he can do it. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> way, way off. Do that one, yeah. Holy shit. Blows my mind every time I do that. <laughs> and I got a blue key. Nothing special in all these massive torture instruments. Yeah, I gotta say, this is a torture room pretty nuts special. I've seen better. Oh, motherfucker. I love that every time you do it. Yeah, this is Combat does these really cool little things that aren't even like really necessary. Ah! Wait, games used to put in things that weren't necessary? It's crazy. Yeah, it's just. It's, How much did you have to pay for the DLC to get the throw? <laughs> Believe it or not, it came on the disc. Well, I know, all DLC is already on the disc, but how much did you pay to unlock it? 999. That was with the Onimusha season pass. <laughs> also known as the game. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. I know. Although I gotta say, like spawning, uh, spawning uh, uh, bubblegum men is the uh, best way to farm some orbs. Yeah, you're right. Like, fucking shooting up on those things right now. <laughs> orbs. Man, I, I remember 2 kind of getting everything leveled up was hard. Yeah, she was 
2 is definitely more of an action game. I would say that, like, Onimusha 2 is the same kind of progression from, like, 1 to 2 as it was from Resident Evil 4 to Resident Evil 5, just in the way the game changes. Right. Middle class demon. Oh, uh, yeah. Lives they in the go suburbs. to work every day, <laughs> don't usually get back till five, kind of grumpy. Lives in the suburbs, average commute about 15 minutes. Drive sedans. Fortin Broth. High level civilization. One in one hundred thousand. Well, I like how Fortinbras kind of being set up as a uh, traitor here. Man with ulterior motives. Leave it up to like a game like Onimusha to make demons is kind of demons interesting. I know. Like the very the very basic setup. Yeah, I have a map. Maybe it's under the map section. Well, I thought there might be a button for it. Mm -mm. Oh, look, a blue door back there. Very true. And you got the blue key. It'll never work. Surprise! Hey! <laughs> hey. <laughs> got brisk. The we worked really hard on setting that up. It's like a brisk jog past. Let's see, is it this room? Oh. Here to funk it. Look at that. Well. We meet again, Samanosuke. Still no interest in coming to work for the older clan? <laughs> this motherfucker. Time, no. I tried my best. To I'm gonna be the king of Japan. Believe it. The, <laughs> of the, demons. the time has come. Demons, prepare for the dark ceremony. <laughs> Youchers! <laughs> right in the heart! <laughs> I built that just for you! I put ten jigsaw puzzles in our path. <laughs> Meanwhile, Samunosuke, did you find anything? Oh, what are you doing? Let go of me! Oh! <laughs> oh. Sweet move, evil Samanosuke. <sighs> evil Nosuke. Samanosuke? Nosuke. That's what I'll call him. <laughs> Nosuke. God, this game has so much fucking story. I know, I never realized that. I don't remember it being this much. <laughs> if you'd asked me, the only like story bits I remember are you, you getting killed by the red demon, and then like you fighting uh, the boss at the end. 
The only thing I remember is a fucking jigsaw puzzle. Yep, I'll never forget that. <laughs> Oh, and there is a time that uh, Hideyoshi shoots you with a lightning bolt and then like elevate send you to hell. Yeah, send you to hell. <laughs> Very common plot device in these PlayStation 2 survival horror games. It's like ask a Japanese developer what he's scared of, and it's like, oh, someone throwing me into hell. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, oh gosh, she moves so fast. Wait, what did she say? Spears have no blades? Are you blind? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like there's nothing helpful. Oh, that's why she's so shitty at being a ninja. She can't see. <laughs> Has a hard time seeing. <laughs> Leave it for someone who needs it. Like someone who's not me. Apparently. Are you alright? There was this dude, and he shot lightning into my heart. From West Prison. Uh. Why would you ask what happened? It's like, well, it all started when zombies took over the castle. Have you looked around, lady? Oh, that's so cool. That backflip. What? Come on, oh, dude! That's so cool. I was dreading having to play as her. She don't need fucking magic swords. She's just good at her job. Oh man, the song that's playing is really cool too. All right, it said West Prison. Yep, red door. She got the red key. You just find your little dot. Shit. Holy a, shit. A lot of red doors. There I am. So just straight ahead. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. I should probably go back and I should probably try to solve that puzzle box. You think? Oh, I, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if I'll be able to. I don't know. Let me go check and see. Oh, that's never gets old. It's so cool that they would add her in, though, and uh, make her, like, play a little differently. Yeah, how much did her campaign cost? Ah, uh, damn. Did you have to pre-order to play as Canada? Oh, uh, yeah, the, eh. yeah, the pre-order. Oh, yeah. It was a pre-order bonus, but only if the pre-orders got above, like, 50%. Oh, and you had to get it from Best Buy. Yeah, I had to get it from Best Buy. Come to Best Buy now, get the, uh, I forget her name, Kaida. Kind of yeah, DLC. but I, I really wanted to get it from GameStop so I could get the epilogue for the game. <laughs> uh, sad but true. Yeah. At least we'll always have CD Projekt Red. It's true. Oh, oh think... did you fight? I think there are enough. Uh, there are enough people now. We're kind of seeing how much bullshit that is, and maybe they're maybe they're trying to do something different. Yeah, Jeff fight. Yeah. I don't mind DLC as long as it's good. Yeah, I'm the same no, way. Not necessary. I'm the same way. Like all this stuff where it's like uh, uh, entire segments of the game. I mean, I don't mind DLC as long as it's made after you finish making the game. Yeah. How about that? Oh, that's cool. I feel like an actual ninja. That's weird, huh? It's, it's like, like she's got so much more freedom of movement. Yeah, she does. It's crazy. I wonder, does she counter or does she just flip? Um, I don't know. I tried to counter there. Oh, sweet. God, that's so cool. I know, double flip. Oh. Uh-oh. 
Not good. No, not good. There goes all my health. Thank God for herbs. I tried to flip over the big guy. You wouldn't have none, son. Nice. Oh, that's cool. I like watching the hats go fly. Yeah, it's such a really cool thing. And then like seeing them without their hats and seeing like see a brain. Yeah. God damn, no wonder all the normal soldiers died. I know, holy shit. All makes sense now. Oh, that's awesome! Oh, shit! <laughs> Too bad you took out your only cover. That's what that's there. That's what that's there for. It is cool that you can cut it in half, though. Okay. All I have to do is figure out how to throw that. There we go. Whoop! Uh, I don't think she's gonna hit him. She's just kinda throwing it straight ahead at the wall. Well, <laughs> good luck! <laughs> there we go. Gotta hope that ninja don't move you down here by the set. Oh. <laughs> Like, letting me move around as this girl. I imagine there's probably like a, a Kaida mode you can unlock. I'm sure there is. I just know for sure the only unlock I know for sure is the Panda Suit, and I know you get it at 10 stones. Oh, dude, I can unlock doors? You got the Shinobi kit, bro. Man, now I just want to go off for like the castle trying to unlock doors. I feel the opposite of, that I did when I was like playing Tenchu. I feel like <laughs> I feel like such a ninja. Oh man, Tenchu. Hey, Wrath of Heaven was awesome. Was that the one where you went to that castle and you had like the creepy little robots? I think so. You're right. I mean, we'll have to play some Tenchu next. That's another. Uh... As long as it's only Wrath of Heaven, that's the only good one. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say like one Tenchu game will be enough for me. They had the Tenchu Z on the. Uh... Yeah, no. Xbox, not good? No. No, no, no. What a way to go out. Yeah, terrible. Wrath of Heaven was legitimately good. Plus, Wrath of Heaven had the bonus level where you got to go to modern day and, like, sneak your way through an office building. <laughs> oh, sounds sweet. It was sweet. They had those series of games in Japan that never came over here that was their way of the samurai but for ninjas. Whoa, really? What are they called? I can't remember, but I know they had it. We just never got one, I don't think. Yeah, they had a... Uh, there's a, um, uh, a series of games. What? Oh, missing a cog. There's a series of games uh, that never came out in, uh, in America that were released in Japan uh, called uh, Taiko, Taiko Rishiden. And uh -huh. it's basically just romance of the three kingdoms, but in feudal Japan, you play as uh, you play as Hideyoshi, uh, trying to like become uh, a ruler, trying to unite Japan. Okage. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, it's really cool because like uh, you basically just get the uh, you know like you you choose to play as uh, 
Uh, oh boy. You choose to play as Hideyoshi when he's just like a, a little foot soldier and like, you know, you basically do all the stuff you do and, uh, oh well. <laughs> That sounds awesome, though. Yeah, I tried to play a little bit of it, uh, but it was all in Japanese. It was a little too menu heavy for me to really get the hang of it. I felt like I was really missing out on it because, like, really, because you know, instead of like uh, instead of like the the romance games where you, you know you choose like an officer out of a hundred bazillion, and you're you're really just playing the story of a uh, of Hideyoshi. Oh, I'm on fire! Can you flip over it? No. Damn. Oh, damn it. If you hadn't set yourself on fire. God, I don't remember this part of the game at all. Probably blocked it out of your memory. Probably. All right, I know what I'm gonna do. It. I'm gonna have to wait until they're all silent. Do it now. Hell yeah. I hope I get to give all this stuff to uh, Semenosuke. Okay, I don't feel so good. That's weird. I have all these herbs. I feel fine. And of course I gotta go back through. Well, at least it's not timed this way. It's a trick. Don't fall for it. It's a trick. They're gonna get you. Yeah, uh, I played around a little bit with Taiko Rashida, and it had some really cool music. Really Did cool. Did you get the gear? The what? The gear. The cog. No, I just got a gold plate. Oh, okay. That's probably like something that, because uh, there's a lot of doors around here that only uh, someone else can get into. Yeah. Yeah, and the song that plays while you're playing as a girl is so cool. As is most times when you play as girls in real life. Oh, this is really cool. Oh, of course there's fucking ninjas in it. <laughs> Wait, there's something shiny over here, I gotta get it! Damn it! <laughs> Oh, you used your medicine. No. Oh, yeah. Which is a place for the ogre clan meets. Where are you, ogre clan? The Chasm of Dimensions, maybe? Chasm of Dimensions, okay. Triangle, window, uh, butterfly, there we go. Damn it, uh, this one, this one. Yeah! Nice! Increase our magic. Oh, got the gear. Wait, wait. I put the gold plate in here. Should I go do the gear or should I do the gold plate? Oh, wait, never mind. 
need this silver plate. Bet you get it for putting in the gear. Not, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Freaking awesome. You're always accomplishing something in this game, too. Yeah, I've noticed that as well. For a game that feels like it's so short, you're doing a lot. Alright, which yeah. way was... Oh, wait, wait, no, it's this way. Although, I wish I could, like, uh... I wish I could, uh... Visit, like, an actual, uh... uh Japanese castle, uh, so I could see if there's, like, some kind of burning furnace... <laughs> like in the, in the in the basement of it or whatever, because like when the one thing one thing I've learned uh, uh, from working in a hospital that uh, n no game developer who's ever de designed a, a hospital like level has ever actually been inside one. <laughs> it's like wait a minute, where's where's the the three elevators that lead three different places like in Parasite Eve. No, no, it's in the other building, dude. Oh, the other building? Yeah, oh. it's in the cabinet, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. I was wondering what you were doing. I thought it was back here. This way? Yep. Yeah, I don't even mind when there's like backtracking in this game because it does just uh, the combat moves so quickly and the and the people move so quickly. It makes it uh, makes it seem really bearable. Enjoyable, even. Yeah, imagine that. Got some more Biako. Haha, <laughs> we already know. We just finished that volume. We guessed at it. <laughs> I'm oh getting, man, only six more and we get panda. I know, I'm getting that fucking panda suit. I'm I'm determined now. Countdown to panda. Every one thousand dollars you fund us in Patreon we'll find one floor right. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Oh! Wow, that hurt. There we go. Capcom were really big into doing this in some of their older games. Like they did this in Resident Evil 2, where you gotta like play a whole section as a little girl. Uh, yeah. They did it in Resident Evil 3, where you gotta play as uh, Carlos. Ah, shit. <laughs> yeah, they really like the side character stuff. Now let's see, where do I go? Oh yeah, here we go, buddy. Oh, five of them. Shit, this is gonna be hard. Yeah, no, no, no. go do that other one. Yeah, this one. No, no, left. That one. No, no, that has to be the last one. Mmm, I disagree. Because the one and the five will match up. Then you can move over and do the others. All right. To spend those twice. See, look at that. I'm a fucking master. Sweet. Hell yeah, upgraded knife. Uh, is that for the girl? I don't know. It just looked really cool. I assumed it was. Guess hmm. not. Oh, yeah, it is. 
Oh, nice. Sweet. Ah, oh, whoa, check that out. That's badass. That's so cool. Now you got the power to fight back. That must mean there's going to be a boss fight. Probably. Dang. Ah! Ah! Yeah, far, far more powerful. Nice. Rewards your diligence. Or rewards your sick map skills. <laughs> high five for staying, for finishing high school. <laughs> <laughs> Ah oh, man, I'm gonna have tongue people. I know it. You. Wait a moment. I will help you out. You are Kaede? Hmm? Samosuke once wrote to me that he journeys with a female ninja, Kaede. So you are. Wee wee wee! <laughs> Is that the girl Samonosuke's banging or something? Only I could leave the castle and see the world with Samonosuke. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. It's Yuki. I envy you. You can go. Yep, that's pretty awesome. Life freedom, you know, having to fight zombie dudes. <laughs> Where'd you get that napkin? Thank you. How That's nice. <laughs> escape from this castle with Semenosuke. Do not give up your highness. I will save you. No, you won't. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <gasps> what? You <laughs> <laughs> can die here in love. I love his voice. Princess Yuki. Princess Yuki! God, killing that guy in three is the most satisfying thing. Oh God! Fight. Do you re <laughs> do you remember the feel of battle, Snake? <laughs> oh yeah, this asshole. Man, this is uh oh oh oh. Hope you saved recently. Can't lock on to him, that's a trick. Oh shit. Can you hit him with your kunai? Ah shit. Oh dang. Yep, yeah, I'm down. That's hard. <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> Died. Let's take your credit, this is the first time you've died against an enemy and not a puzzle. Yeah, it is true. Fucking guard station, holy shit. Oh my god. Uh, there's a the gold there's a the gold plate. Oh man, you don't have the silver plate yet. Yeah, I just gotta get. I just gotta go get the gear. All right, got that. Just turn around. 
Oh, wait, no. No, you're right. Oh, yeah. Gotta go put the gear in. They have a really smart layout, too, for the items. It never seems like um, I'm traveling too far to to go back to one place. Right. That's nice and compact. No, not that way. Yeah, that way. That way? Is it? I no, think so. No, that's where the... Uh, yeah, no, that's where the furnace is. Yeah, and the building for the gear is right across from it. Jet. I'm telling you. We just did this. Good thing we know where that upgraded knife is, though. That boss fight would be a bitch. Oh god, I don't even want to think of having to do that shit without the knife. No, that's the furnace. Damn it. <laughs> Just did this. I got a bad memory, okay? That's apparent. Alright, there's a fucking fluoride somewhere around here. Got it. Get that. All set to go. I feel that's gonna be another one I'm gonna be saving. Probably shouldn't have wasted all those herbs fighting enemies. Yeah, I probably should have saved that. Yeah, in hindsight. Lessons learned. Oh. Yay! Once again... Now let's see if we can figure out this trick puzzle. <laughs> I did. Or if we're gonna fuck that shit up too. Oh yeah! I'm getting that panda suit. <laughs> okay, we did this one once. He already screwed it up. There you go. Now do it. Boom. Now go save at that shrine again. <laughs> now I'll get a uh, I'll get a save state. So I wanted to do all that. I just wanted to save before I got in here, just in case like this shit really is too hard and I gotta go and like hunt for herbs oh shit mm -hmm. let me see if I can be very careful <laughs> oh wow it just takes two of those huh
Very careful. Fire bad. I didn't think you could run into it. That almost never happens. Almost. Almost. Except when it does. Go ahead and get a fucking save state going on this. There we go. Watching this cutscene again. Wait a moment. I will help you out. You are Kai. Let us skip it. Hmm? Can't. There's no way. Sanosuke once wrote to me that he. Let's see if we can see that really touching Kai handkerchief Kai. scene again. <laughs> so, you are. Well, they were really loose on the prisons back then. You can get a handkerchief in inside the, uh, inside the <laughs> pen. Capcom presents Bird in a Cage Shinobi Edition. <laughs> you don't know who had bitches around here. Princess Yuki. I envy you. You can go. Good puppy. <laughs> nice puppy. She looks like it seems like genuinely astonished. <laughs> Do not give up your highness. I will save you. No, you won't. What? You can die here in love. Princess Yuki! Princess Yuki! I'm like you, Snake. I have no name. <laughs> Make another save right here so I ain't gotta watch that shit. Alright. What's the game plan? Maybe you're not. Motherfucker. Oh shit, did you see that? That was some slick shit on his part. I know, that motherfucker! Hit me with that goddamn, uh... Fucking dynamic entry kick. Oh, shit. He's got range, too. That's dangerous. Uh, can't lock onto him, either. When Can you flip over him? I don't know, I don't want to try. I don't think I can... Whoa, what? Kill if you can. Oh yeah, that's right. Kill me in two hits. Cause that's fair. Really should have saved those herbs. Ah, walked into it. It's not too bad, all I gotta do is just like dodge him. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no no oh, I didn't shit. get him. You didn't finish him in time, he regenerated. Now you got him. Fucking cyborg ninja. I <laughs> have to tell him. <laughs> Semenosuke, you won't believe what happened. Yeah, Semenosuke, there was this guy and he was invisible, and he had this ninja, and I was like, what's ya? <sighs> and then he was like, Mazen, go kick.
tried to hit me with something called a rocket kick. Man, could have sworn I got thrown into hell. Oh, Ugh, this looks suspiciously like hell. Fucking cashing in my chips. Hell yeah. Make it rain, yeah. I think I saw a level 3 red orb door. Yeah, I'll have a... I think I... Uh, let me go ahead and get this one first. Since it's almost there. Just use the rest on the... Level... On the red. I got my... I got my gauntlet. Upgraded too. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, yeah, if you upgrade your uh, stuff. Check it out. I mean, that's saving. I ain't going for that shit again. It sucks in souls faster too. Sweet. Such a cool fucking game. Man, these last chapters are a lot longer than the opening ones are. Because we were halfway through the games in terms of chapters, but... What? <gasps> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That's a little Here's Jackie! A little shit-eating grin on his face. Like his insane wide eyes. <laughs> How do I defeat myself? Just use magic on him. Use all your magic. Oh shit! Did he block it? You can't block magic, it's magical! You saved at that shrine, right? Yeah. Okay. Jesus! Ah, he kicked me in the dick! People that gave me that medicine. Use your magic jewel too. Yeah, there you go. Switch over to another weapon that has magic. Oh yeah. Real jazz. Oh wait, I know how to do it. I have to wait until he throws a fireball and counterattack. God, this is awesome. God, it's like I'm really fighting a fucking samurai! I forget that I actually have a block button. <laughs> yeah. Magic attack? Yeah. As soon as he stops whipping my ass. Oh! Got me. Well, I feel like I know how to beat him this time. Hopefully. At least he doesn't kill me in two hits. Yeah. We'll go ahead. Thunder Sword's the best one for that one. Man, and the song that plays during this boss fight is so good.
Damn it, just short. Damn it. <laughs> Not off to a good start. No. Can he parry him? I don't know, I don't really want to try. Yeah, <laughs> I'll just try and do it the slow way. Ah, damn it. Was charging up for the magic attack shit and went your own. Just barely. Holy crap. That's a close fight. <laughs> I love how he dies too. Oh god. <laughs> Weapons just look so cool. Sweet. Wait, I need to go back down there and check him for fluorite. I think you need to enhance your orb too. Oh yeah, that'd be a good idea. No, not quite, almost. Damn it, no fluorite. Oh, hey, we finally got that plate for that door way back in the castle. Oh, sweet, you got a ladder. And a power jewel. Sweet, increase your health. Man, they must have known, must have knew I had a hard time with that last one. <laughs> Man, how resourceful. I know where you're at. You mm -hmm. should go try to open all those doors over in the prison. Same statue somewhere in here. Yeah, I think now it's time to uh oh sweet and talk to all these dead people. Yep. There's a man called. <laughs> oh, ouch, my eyes. <laughs> this is the castle where curse never happens. What is this? I like. To, oh, my eyes hurt. Ow, my eyes.
Uh oh, upgraded ninjas. First I need to go back and I need to get that very first uh, trick box. Oh yeah. Upgraded everything looks like. I'm ready this time. Subverted by the demons. Clan of Ogres. The Clan of Ogres. Ogre, okay. No. Try put in the clan of ogres. Oh. Mart. Or clan of ogres, I guess, not the Nice. We needed that. Let's see. Or if there's any. I'm more. sure there's secrets all the way in the back. Oh, what's this? Shit, he's back. <laughs> Fuck! He said he left, Robert. He said he wouldn't be back. Life was supposed to be good. That was cool. I could talk to the uh, to the monk there. Nice little catches. Oh god! What? <laughs> Holy shit! They're on crack. Okay, uh, that's at the very beginning, so I think we're all good there. Yeah, I always thought that Onimusha had a really interesting plot. Yeah, definitely. They did, they did a lot with just like demon samurais, I mean, that's really all you have to do in most they cases. They took a little extra step. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's what we'll have to play. We'll have to play, uh, what was it? What was it 7 Samurai 20XX? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that game. Careful, he's the upgraded version. Oh, that was cool. Damn it. Awesome, oh, Nuska called the cops. <laughs> Police arrest this man. Uh, one more orb to go after this one. Yeah, I don't want to be set. Then you can start upgrading your weapons again. Did you ever play the uh, Blood Will Tell on the PlayStation 2? Uh, maybe. 
It was the uh, Dororo game. The what one? Uh, Dororo, the uh, the samurai who loses all his body parts. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I did play that. Yes. Yeah. I heard good things about it. Did it say that was locked? Yeah, it says, well, it said it was barred. Oh, yeah, that's not the way to the prison, though, is it? Yeah, that's this way. That's right. Let's say, how dare they tease us with all those locked doors. Oh, yeah. God, magical is so cool. Oh, damn it. Fucking Ninja Turtles. Oh, I forget, was there something down there? Oh. We can go look and see. Be quicker than trying to check the maps. Man, they give so many more orbs now. You're already at almost two bars. I love like how just the the enemies have changed. Like you kill those ninjas and they shoot out a little shadow clone. Yeah. The gauntlet, whatever it is. Grudge against the demons. Yeah. Demons power revive chasms of the The Gauntlet of Ogres. That's it. Got this mixed up. Nice! You're not even gonna know what to do with all your health. I know, I'm gonna need that shit too. This fun and doors we don't need and everything. Oh, watch out for those cocksuckers. They'll steal your souls. This is where you fought the big red one up. Yeah. The good thing is about having holy armor is those guys can't suck your souls out. Oh really? Of your gauntlet, yeah. I remember that. I think. I'm pretty sure. Just don't let those things flee. Use your tornado magic. 
probably easier. Oh, they not give you souls? I don't think they stole any. Oh, bastards. Fucking gauntlet going on here. No, all I want to do is- Don't leave! I just want to see what's in here! You can see after the fight! Now it reset! Oh crap, Grey Fox. Oh, we'll go, we'll go. Oh, this one's clear. Did you check that altar for fluorite? No, no, but I don't have any medicine either, so... Come back when I have glasses. My fluorite goggles. <laughs> now we gotta we gotta hit up the prison. <laughs> Shooting you up. I know, these fucking guys. There we go, I have arrows, I just didn't realize Save it. your arrows, there's a boss that you're gonna need them for. Oh, okay. Coming up. Alright, oh, bravo! Oops. Oops, see what his soul says. <laughs> Why didn't you help? Bravo, Mr. Save Arrows. You're a dick. Oh, whoa, I was just like, I think I was clicking on anything and I found that one. Nice. I think now we only need a few more to get Panda Suit. That's what, three? Uh, I think it's four. Four? Yeah. Yeah, I need four. Nice. Oh, sweet. One of these things. Hell yeah! Oh, sweet. Akuma. <laughs> Statue of the West. Wait, that guy was talking about a statue, right? Yeah. Like someone took the head away. Vision staff. God, I don't remember any of this. <gasps> That's, uh, I can see the... Uh, yeah, I, we got goggles! I got, I got goggles. I got, my, I got my fluorite stick. I got my Genbu. I'll be right back. Alright. I'm back, are you fluorite master yet? Uh, I found the fluorite. Oh, now I'm busy like trying not to get my ass kicked. <laughs> On the way to a save point. God, he almost got four bars.
refill my magic juices here. Yeah, I might be able to level this one up right here. Maybe. No. Oh, right there. Dang it. Oh. Well, at least I'm getting that fluorite. I must be swimming in it. Oh, sweet. Oh, snap. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That was pretty cool. I love that here, and I love that shit in Dark Souls. Oh, man. Seems like they have less of those moments in Dark Souls. It seems like Demon Souls is, like, full of them. Yeah. Uh oh. Wrong neighborhood. <laughs> you gotta fight the pig boys. <laughs> See how much they like. Where? Uh oh. I'd use magic to take those dudes out quick. Damn it! Oh. Ah. Still got me. Got the bullets. Oh man, do I get a gun? Yeah. Didn't know that. I got a decorated sword. That's the tattoo head, I don't know what to do with that. I think we're going the right way even though we're trying to find secret things. <laughs> I know you gotta open the door with that plate, but man, we just feel like we're on fire. I feel like we are. We're just nailing it. Gonna get my last the last orb upgraded. Oh uh, yeah. What weapon are you gonna go for now? 
I don't know. I think I'll just do the rise. Well, Shipu's got the better magic attack. But you got your magic max. That's what the orbs do. Oh, okay. Then. Oh well. well. I have a lot more. It's cool anyway. I have a lot more fun using the orb, uh, the wind. That it looks awesome. Keyhole's broken. Can't open it with a key. It's because Kaede broke it with her shinobi locks. Way to go! Must find fluorite! <laughs> Ninja friends, have you seen any shiny objects? Oh, dude, check that out. That's so cool. Man, this fight's sweet. It's only a regular fight. <laughs> <laughs> Friggin' awesome, dude. Love those little touch -its. That's amazing. Oh, can't get into that one without a key either. This is the guy that'll take you to the dark Please, realm. Do not be afraid. Stay and talk. And you gotta fight through twenty levels of it. But if you do, he gives you a flute you that lets you get the best sword. The dark realm. It is a kind of paradise. It is a place that contains wondrous treasures. Sounds legit. Are you interested? <laughs> it's not too bad either. Let's do it. Let me get a, twenty levels. Let me, yeah, let me get a safe state on it. Do it. Remember, if you die, do not come back to haunt Tee -hee. me. Are you? <gasps> <laughs> uh, change. Sounds legit. Sure, take me to hell. Why not? Oh God. I love the logo design. I forgot how cool it was. Yeah, the emulator's running so slow. Yeah, there's a lot of enemies. They even just bullet time for some of those games. There we go. Yeah, I remember this from part two. Yeah. Make sure you collect all the items and stuff that they dropped any. I don't think they did on this one. Alright, which one goes down? The one, one down. <laughs> I, I just wanted to be sure. Shit, he's invading our home. Yeah, I think you have to do the same thing to get the best weapon in Onimusha 2 as well. It's the same sword too, that's a cool thing. Oh really? Yep. The fact they changed the item description from I think they put it like in two, they put like something like has been used before or slightly used or something like that. Uh that's cool.
Like, just a suggestion, but maybe we should put it someplace different? <laughs> we put it in the bottom of hell. Where else are we supposed to put it? We thought it would be safe. Damn it. Oh. Uh oh. This ain't looking good. <laughs> you got any medicine I'd use it? Or herbs or anything. I only have one. Better get good. <laughs> get good, bag it, make a safe state. <laughs> Why well, you have full health? Nah, I'll just up. <laughs> God, that's so cool. Damn it! He's trying to kill him. Oh. Ah. So it's a different weapon that's magic, you're getting wrecked, man. Couple one of those guys would drop health. Now would probably be a good time to like get good at parrying again. <laughs> probably. Magic is your friend. Oh. <laughs> I think you made it to like what, five, six? Yeah. Leave me alone. Oh, you're not gonna get it? Well come back. You're weak. Come back when I got some like max out weapons. Oh. I give you back your head. <laughs> Baller. Sweet. Oh yeah. Got a gun. He needs these sissy swords. I see, now we just gotta figure out where to go. Well, I mean, it's just go back to the keep. 
he walked right in front of the door right after you start playing a Seminoski again of which you had to put the plate in. Oh. Well, I tried to go back to that door though and it said it was locked. No, 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 back in the key. Oh yeah, that's what I was looking for. I came over here looking for fucking Kaide. Uh, no. <laughs> That's where my priorities are. No, I thought we were just coming to unlock all the stuff we saw as Kaide. That's probably where I started at. And I was just like, I wonder what Kaide is up to. Whatever. Oh. Wait, no. Mm -mm. It was upstairs. Was it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> or at least uh, through that front door, right up ahead. Which I think leads upstairs. No, not that one, though. No, I just want to check this room for fluoride. Oh, no, this is another guy they'll send you down Dark Realm. Don't be afraid. I have information that may help. Hey, won't you go to the Dark Realm? Oh. There is no guarantee you will live. Fuck off. If you do, great rewards await you. Okay, see you soon. Let's came in here looking for fluoride. Like, I, don't, I don't mind getting lost so much because it means I get to look for fluorite. <laughs> that sweet rock. That rock candy. Yeah, right here. Wait, check. No fluorite. Seems legit. So you have made it this far. Oh man, did I make it all the way to the end of the game? Nope, this isn't the end. But you do have to fight Insect Lady here. Hot. Super hot. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so many fetishes. God, and they hit every one of mine. Broken floors. Oh, yeah. Is this where I have to shoot it with the bow? Yeah, I'd use your match lock now that you have it, though. It is so much more damage. Beyond this gate lies the demon world. <laughs> Warning do not pursue Mantis Lady into hell. Herbs? Oh, 
Oh yeah, never mind. Yeah, you gotta go get the fucking key for it before you even get to fight. Of course. Well, that didn't work. I don't know what to do. We have to destroy that stone. Where were you? Where were you? And why did you try to kill me? What do I gotta look for? I don't know, you should pay attention. I didn't hear, couldn't hear what she said. Let's go find some doors I haven't been through yet. Damn it, you're the Yonamusha King. Where do I go? Dude, I don't remember, homie. Uh, does that seem like a pretty nice stopping stopping spot? Yeah, that'd be a good spot. Yeah. We made a lot of progress. Man, we did. I feel like we got a lot of shit done in this game. Fuck yeah, we did. Alright. That's it, folks. <sighs> Alrighty. That's all she wrote. Join us next time where we search for the demon key and uh, get more stuff done. We'll get the ultimate armor next time. It'll be awesome. Oh, get the ultimate armor next time? Yeah, we're right there. Oh, shit. Sounds awesome. It is awesome. Saiyan Lewis says GG, guys. I don't know how thanks. long ago that was. But thanks. Give him a, give him a thumbs up. He looks to say it, Lewis. Thanks, Lewis. He appears to be a uh, Bruce Lee enthusiast. His profile picture is a uh, a dapper young man uh, holding a large pitcher of beer. If that's a saying, it's the most saying saying I've ever saying. Yeah, sounds All good. Right. All right. Good night. Peace.